Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. First off, I want to say a huge thank you to each and every one of you who subscribed over this month and of course everyone who had subscribed before. We have doubled our channel size this month, which Honestly, I was just gonna think we were lucky to hit 100, so I'm super excited that this content has been helpful. I really enjoyed making it. And today, obviously we're doing something a little different. I wanted to go through one of those tier maker websites and do like a ranking all the roofs in The Sims 4, just kind of be a little silly, sort of close off the month. And the website kept crashing, so I made one in, in game. Made a tier list in game. If this is something you'd like for your own game, let me know and I can make like a base game version on a smaller lot. Um, but yeah, this is what we're doing today. On the plus side, now if we have any debates or can't remember what something's called, we already have the game open. All right, so let's start with the gable roof. Gable roof absolutely goes in the A tier. You can use this roof for pretty much any build you are ever going to create. Super flexible, super versatile, just absolutely fabulous. The hip droop I'm going to put in the B tier because while it still can be extremely useful, it's just, it's not quite as great as the gable, so it's gonna go one below. The half gable I'm also putting in the B tier for the sole reason that you can't really roof a whole house with just half gables, with the exception of mid-century. Um, for the most part, you are going to use this to fill in gaps or to roof decks or something, so it's still extremely helpful, definitely very much needed in the game, but I wouldn't say it's quite on the same level as just the classic gable. Now the half hip roof, I am actually going to place up here because this piece can serve to bridge the gaps between hip roofs and gable roofs and half hip roofs. You can use this to turn corners. It's helpful when you're joining anything to a diagonal. Very, very helpful roof. So that one is going in the A tier. The hexagon and the pentagon. I have issues with these guys. If you turn the grid on, you can see that this lines up with one. And this one, you've got this and you've got the diagonal here. And that's about it. The best case scenario for these guys is pretty much going to be like some sort of tower roof where it doesn't really necessarily line up completely. Maybe joining some corners on some funky angles, but for the most part, I don't really understand why these are in the game. Which is what I would have said for the circle, except we got round walls now. So the circle is actually very much needed in the game. It was technically useful before, but now it does actually like serve a real purpose. So congratulations circle, you have been moved from the D tier to the A tier by one simple game update. Here's the thing. All of these are automatically getting knocked down a tier just because you cannot line the eaves up on the diagonal. Nine times out of ten, it's impossible to line up the eaves when you're trying to join a diagonal room and a non-diagonal room. So, diagonal gable is still going in the B tier. If you watched this video, then you know that I use this a lot to join curved rooms on, um, especially if there's like a curved corner joining to like a rectangle on this side. I'll just show you a clip. Or that's why the gable is going in the B tier, but the rest of them I'm putting in C because their counterparts got A and B, but just because they cannot line up, like it feels, it feels like an oversight and I'm sorry that you have to be punished for this. Side note, if anyone knows how to get rid of this shiny thing, it has been bothering me this whole month and I've cycled through all of the lot types and I cannot get it to go away. Anyway, there are all of the roof types ranked. Uh, let's move on to roof textures. I do know that these aren't all of the textures, but that's just because I don't have all the packs. Up until here is all base game. And then we have some from the packs that I do have. All right, so first we have the default shingles. This one I am going to put in the B tier. It's not awful, but we do have much better shingle options. Plus, if you just leave this shingle pattern on your roof, it's kind of like, I don't know. It's just, it makes your build feel more professional if you switch out the shingles. This one from the base game I actually really like. I think this is a very valuable roof texture and I'm going to put it in the A tier. I also really like these tiny scallops and that they come in so many different colors. And these shingles are probably my favorite. My favorite, like, rectangular shingles anyway. This gravel roof texture I've literally only used for like blending chimneys into siding. Um, I'm going to put that in a D tier because if you wanted a flat roof with gravel, we have just better gravel floor textures. Just use one of those instead. Oh, the base game thatched roof. Um, it's just bad. Like I understand not everyone has the island living or cottage living thatched textures. So if you absolutely needed to use this one, I understand. However, just like not even shade on the builders who use this, the texture itself is just rough. Congrats, you are joining the gravel roof. This is another uneven shingle texture and I think it's significantly better than the default one. Put it here just to compare. It just, it has more uneven edges 
And this one's just like barely uneven. You can't tell if it's supposed to be uneven or not. Uh, so this one wins. The larger scallop. Okay, so here's the thing. We have three different sizes. This one, it only comes in, I think, two colors. Yeah, it only comes in two colors. And honestly, either use the big ones or the little ones. I'm putting you in C tier. All right, here we have the two clay tile roofs. From just the texture standpoint, I think this one's significantly better. So I'm going to put this one up in A, and you can go in B. Large scallop also goes in A. I just really love this texture. The flat concrete one, I do use it. Again, it's typically more for flat roofs or for blending, but I'm going to put it in B tier because it is significantly more important to building than the gravel. This one just feels like a repeat of some of the textures we already have. So I'm going to put it here in the C tier. If we compare this to the other metal roof we have, this one just has so much more texture. And this one looks so flat. C tier. Now the glass roofs. The glass roofs overall, I'm super glad that they added to the game. I think they really add a lot of versatility. You can do skylights and all that stuff without using weird cheats. It's very, very nice. This one is the square panels. This one is the rectangular panels. Honestly, both of these are pretty useful, but I wouldn't say they're anything special. So they can both go in B tier. Now the hexagons. I love the hexagons. Straight up to A tier, no questions asked. The solid glass, I just don't really understand why we have, like I get it, I just don't think, ugh. Here's my issue with the solid glass, is if you just have too big of a solid glass piece, it looks weird. I understand being able to use it for like snow globes and stuff, or even using a whole bunch of these hip roofs to make a whole bunch of triangles or diamonds or whatever, but I don't know. I like the other ones a lot better, and this is me ranking them, so if you disagree, let me know. This one, super fancy, definitely appreciate having it in the game. It will also go up with A tier. And this one, I don't know, nothing too fancy. It can go in B tier. Overall, really appreciate having the glass roofs though. All right, now we're moving on to the other packs. This one I believe is Get Famous. It's supposed to be concrete. It doesn't look like concrete, just looks dirty and gross. And the lines don't even line up. Weird. Honestly, D tier. I don't think I've ever used that except in a specifically Get Famous build. Now this one from Island Living. I love how many colors this comes in and how weathered they look. The rest of the texture, not the biggest fan, but solid B tier. Now, these thatched textures. This one, I don't mind too much. This one, it just doesn't look... I think it's supposed to be palm leaves, and I feel like they could have layered it a lot better, just the stripes and everything. Not a fan. So, this one, you can graduate to B tier. You, however... Hmm. Yeah, I'm putting this one in D. I just... It could have been so much better, and it's just not, and it's really disappointing. All right, solar panels. I love that they added these to the game, all of the different colors and everything. It's awesome. It looks great just as like a modern shingle roof, not to mention that it lowers your bills, so definitely A tier. Once again, we have two different metal roofs. Um, this one has so much more texture, and this one doesn't. I think this is simply to be like for the top of shipping containers and stuff. Overall, this is the better texture, I think and neither of them are super fabulous in my opinion. So I'll put this one in B, but you're going in C. I appreciate all the different colors that these roof textures come in. It also came with a grass roof texture, which again, I appreciate, honestly, I don't use it a lot, but I do think that it's important to have in the game just for that like variety. So I will put this in the B tier. Moving on to, I believe all three of these are from Snowy Escape, let me check. Yes. Okay, so all three of these are from Snowy Escape. This one I use quite frequently. These two pretty much only on Snowy Escape builds, so this one I'm actually going to move up to A tier. It's unlike any of the other textures that we've had. You can use it for a lot of different styles, and overall I think it's a really valuable addition. However, because these guys are pretty limited to very specific styles of building, I am going to put them in the C tier and B tier based on just the texture quality. And again, this is all my opinion. Feel free to argue with me down below. I will read your comments. Um, and overall, I think we can all agree that Cottage Living came with the superior thatched roof texture. It has those jagged lines. It's overall pretty smooth still. I really appreciate all the trims that it came with. So A tier for thatched roof. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. The next couple of months, I'll be posting more like speed builds and challenges and stuff like that and we'll be back into full home tutorials in October. Also if you disagree with any of these rankings, for real, let me know in the comments below. I could be wrong or I could be right and you could be wrong. We'll never know unless you let me know. Alright, roof trims. I'm going to start by picking out a couple of my favorites. 
this one for sure, the sort of square roof trim, I love this one. It's just thick enough to like really put a nice edge on the roof, but it's not so thick that it causes too many clipping issues. A tier. I also like this one uh, for similar reasons. I like how thick and bold it is, and it really doesn't give me too many clipping issues. These two are the a ranking roof trims from the base game anyway this one i do like it's so thick and fun however it causes a lot of clipping issues because of how thick it is so that's honestly going to bring it down i think to c it's just a little too thick and just because of all the clipping issues and i'm a roofing kind of person so don't get to use that one too often so from what we have left this one is my least favorite i just this edge here i don't know something about it just looks weird off i don't know what it is i don't know I don't know, I just don't like it. I think this is going to be my one and only D tier. The rest of these, they're all right. This one's probably a B, the other two are C. They're just sort of, they look pretty much the same and they're not that interesting. They don't provide too strong of an edge to the roof, but they're also still quite noticeable. So B tier to you and C to you guys. All right, now we have the three pack roof trims. So this one's island living, this one's island living, and this one's cottage living. You already know where this one's going. I just really like all of the roof stuff that came with cottage living. So, island living. Let's try and change the light so you can see better, but didn't really work. Oh, there we go. I'm dumb. So maybe I'm wrong, but these look like the same textures that they just decided to have two different collections of colors on, which I think is kind of weird. I prefer the colors on this one, not sold on the texture though, so I'm going to put it in B. And this one is going in C simply because it could all have been packaged in one, but no. So that is my final uh, tier ranking of all the roof types, trims, and textures in The Sims 4. If you disagree, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you want this uh, like tier list format for your game. I'm about to throw a whole bunch of cards on the screen, so get ready. Here is the playlist of all of the videos that I've uploaded this month, everything about roofing. There are a couple in there from before, but for the most part, these are all the videos just from this month. Here are the two most popular videos from this month, so if you missed them, highly recommend checking them out. And here is a video that YouTube thinks that you will enjoy from this channel. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Thank you again so much for helping us hit. I think we're at 151 right now. 151 subscribers. Blows my mind. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.